Good day, students. In this clip, we're going to be going over um, two examples on how to find the arithmetic mean. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down the instructions for the examples. Uh, we are to find the missing term, find the missing term in each sequence, in each um, arithmetic sequence, okay? arithmetic sequence. All right, so for number one, we have um, a sequence with four terms, 19 comma dash comma dash comma four. Okay, so what does arithmetic mean? What does that mean? It means um, non-consecutive terms um, between two terms in uh, an arithmetic sequence, okay? So in this case, we have two arithmetic means, which are the numbers that um, are represented by these blanks right here. So when this problem says to find the missing term in each arithmetic sequence, we are basically looking for the two arithmetic means here, okay? So in order to do that, um, let's identify what we're looking for by assigning them um, uh, variables. So I'm going to call the first term a sub 1. The index of the letter tells me the position, okay? So a sub 1. a sub 2 is the first arithmetic mean. a sub 3 is the second one. And then a sub 4 is the last term um, of the uh, arithmetic sequence. So in order to find these two terms, we need to use the formula for the nth term of a uh, of an arithmetic series, of an arithmetic um, series, so uh, arithmetic sequence. So the formula is an equals a1, the first term of the sequence, um, plus n minus 1 times the common difference. All right? So if you look at this formula for finding the nth term of an arithmetic um, sequence, you find out that there are three variables that you must know in order to determine the nth term. And they are a1, n, and the common difference, d. If you look at this uh, information we're given here, a1 is known, it's 19. n can be any term you want to find. It could be the second term, n will be 2. The third term, n will be 3. And then the fourth term, n will be 4. We already know that. Okay, so we know what n is, n varies, but d is missing here. We do not know what the common difference is in this um, arithmetic sequence. So in order to find that, we're going to make use of um, the first and the last term, the fourth term, uh, to solve for d, and that will enable us to determine what the second and third terms are. Okay. So to do that, we're going to um, let uh, n equals 4. Okay. So with that in mind, a n will become a4, and a4 is the last term, which is 4. a1 is the first term, is 19. Um, and then d, the common difference, we do not know what the value is, all right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make use of these values in computing our, uh, computing the value of d, okay? So let's partition the workspace to two halves. All right, so now let's plug in these values into the formula, into this formula right here. Let's rewrite the formula again so we don't lose track. A n equals A1 plus n minus 1 times d. So A n is A4, which is 4, equals A1 is 19 plus n it's 4 minus 1 times the common difference, d, that's what we're looking for, okay? Now let's uh, get d isolated. We need to solve this um, algebraic equation with one unknown. So we're going to have 4 equals 19 plus 5, I'm sorry, plus uh, 3d. Okay, 4 minus 1 is 3. I don't know why I was adding plus 3d. Now to finish this up, we'll subtract 19 from both sides. Subtract 19, subtract 19, and we can write this as 3d equals negative 15, and then divide both sides by 3. And then you get your common difference, d, 
which equals negative 5. Okay? So what does a common difference that's negative mean? It basically means that um, the arithmetic sequence will be decreasing in magnitude. All right? And we can see that here because the first term is 19 and the fourth term is 4. So this negative common difference makes um, perfect sense. All right, so now um, the beauty of this problem is when you apply your common difference to your uh, to the situation, you can easily tell if your answer is wrong or right. So how do we how do we do that? Well, we'll start from the first term. The first term is 19. Now, what does the common difference mean? It means that if you um, subtract this term from every other from the subsequent term, you should generate the next terms. Okay, so A2 is equal to 19 plus the common difference, but it's negative here, so we're going to be subtracting minus 5, so that equals 14. A3 is going to be A2, 14, minus the common difference, which equals 9. Okay, now A4, if we apply the common difference to A3 and we end up with 4, then we'll be confident that our answer is in fact correct. All right, so is that the case? Well, let's see. 9 minus the common difference minus 5 equals 4. That is excellent. So that shows that um, not only is our common difference correct, but our answers are in fact correct. So the terms that fill, um, uh, that completes the arithmetic sequence, let's put them in, are A2, the value of 14, and um, A3, the value of 9. So those are our, our answers. All right, let's take a look at question number two. So for number two, we have to find the missing terms in the arithmetic sequence 21, comma, dash, 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 we're going to be missing three terms in this arithmetic sequence, uh, and then 421. All right, so what does the arithmetic mean here? It's th these missing numbers here. These are the arithmetic mean. So this is A1, the first term. This is A2, A3, A4, and A5. So we need to find the value of three arithmetic means for number two. All right, so to get started, uh, let's write down the formula that helps us generate the nth term of each um, arithmetic sequence. So the formula is an equals the first term a1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference, d. Okay? All right, so like we indicated earlier, if we do not know the common difference, we cannot generate um, the terms after a1 here okay so we have to figure out what the common difference is first and then use that to figure out a2 a3 and a4 the arithmetic means so to do that we're going to let n be equal to 5 this time because we know the fifth term okay so that enables a n to be equal to a5 notice how the indices match a5 equals 421 all right, so you always want to let n be the index of your last term in your arithmetic um, sequence. Now we know what a1 is. a1 is 21. Um, and then the last variable, d, the common difference, we do not know what its value is. That's what we're looking for. All right? All right, so let's um, input what we know and what we need into this equation. Let's write the equation again. a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d. So a n is a5, which is 421, equals 21 plus n is 5 minus 1 times d. All right, now we'll just uh, solve this using algebraic rules. 421 equals 21 plus 4d. Now we can solve this in two steps. Subtract 21 divided by 4. And that should uh, help us figure out what uh, the common difference is. All right? So let's subtract 21 from both sides. This is a reflexive property of equality. I can write this as 4D equals 400 
Getting to isolate D, we just simply divide both sides by 4. And then we have the common difference D equals 100. All right, so what on earth does this mean? If the common difference D is 100, that means each term in this sequence grows by adding 100 to the subsequent term, okay, to the preceding term. Now, um, we know what A1 is. A1 is 21. Let's see if we add 100, 1, 2, 3, 4 times, if we end up with 421, let's see if that's the case. So A2 is going to be A1, the preceding term, plus the common difference of 100, that yields 121. A3 is going to be A2, the preceding term, which is 121, plus the common difference of 100, which yields 221. And then A4 uh, is going to be the preceding term, 221. A3 plus the common difference, 100 equals 321. And then A5, if A5 matches 421, then we're confident that our answers are correct, okay? So let's see what happens here. A4, which is 321, plus the common difference of 100 equals 421. That's beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted, all right? So the missing terms of this arithmetic um, sequence are 121, 221, and 321. All right? So that's that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. You can feel free to subscribe to my channel and please post a comment to let me know what you think about this presentation. More clues can be found on mapgoodserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.